This is Alin from Javelin playing with the new toys from SolidWorks 2013. Today I will test what is the impact on file sizes introduced by new functionality for exploded views. I hope you don't mind if I will try to create an exploded view from scratch for, uh, for this assembly. So let me open up this subassembly. So the whole holder is a subassembly. So select subassembly open subassembly and let's start by creating one exploded view in this subassembly well I'll just take out the cover and the batteries for the flashlight I'm gonna take these two batteries out and this is my first exploded view and allow me to call it um, let's say batteries out and I would like to create another one where I have the whole holder, the whole base exploded. Since I already have these two steps, let's make a copy of this exploded view and paste it one more time in the same configuration. So as you can see, I have two exploded views and I can call this one complete explode. Let's edit it. And I'll just continue by adding other steps to it. Maybe this one, I'll take this pin out, I'll move this down, the clip, and move this part out too. So that's my second explode for my base. I have one, and I have the second one. Great, let's go back to my uh, main assembly. And let's create here also a uh, new exploded view that's gonna call only for having the batteries out so one thing I can do I can use the exploded steps for this sub assembly so I'm just gonna go here first of all let's turn off this option for select sub assembly parts so when I select one component from the sub assembly the whole cast sub assembly gets selected and let's use the option to reuse sub assembly explode and here I have obviously two exploded views. I'm going to use the batteries out only. And I'm going to go to use subassembly explode. So there you go. I have my first exploded view. And let me call it also um, remove batteries. Oops. And let's create a brand new one. I'm just going to go here, another exploded view. And this time, I'll uh, explode completely the flashlight. So let's move out this clip. I uh, just want to remind you that you can affect the direction of the exploded view by manipulating the triad. Right now, if I'm just dragging in this direction, this is not really realistic. You see this clip is biting through the yellow part. So that's not a good idea. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to delete this explode step. It's easier to recreate it. I'm just going to select it. The easiest way, just press the Alt key, drag the bubble over any entity that will change the direction of the triad, and there you go. Always a good idea to switch to eyes of view to see where you are. Now, the whole holder is free. Make sure that when you select it, you have this option turn off, so you're not going to select parts. You're going to select the whole subassembly. Just going to want to move it out. Again, I'm going to reuse the steps that I use, uh, the subassembly explodes that I had before. This time I'm going to use the complete explode. And it's out. Uh, let's uh, free also uh, the head by removing these two pins. From time to time, go back to the ISO view or whatever view you're going to use in the drawing. And now I'm going to move all these components in one go by using this auto space component after drag. So again, I'm going to press the Alt key, I'm going to reorient my triad, move this out. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense for the bulb to go in front of uh, the body. So, oops, I'm just going to delete the last one. Switch back to that chain. And I'm just going to move this before the, bo uh, the body and everything now um, works a bit better. And I also, I believe this is supposed to go, no, this is correct. Okay, good. So that's my second exploded view. Let's call it also complete explode. 
So this is what's new in Solidworks 2013, the fact that I can have two exploded views. Let's uh, save this subassembly and let's check the size of this subassembly. So uh, right now it has 549 kilobytes. I'll show you what uh, we used to have before. In order to have two exp exploded views, you had to have two configurations. I'm just going to create a brand new configuration. Let's call it uh, batteries out or uh, remove batteries. And uh, I'm just going to copy this uh, remove batteries exploded view into this one. So I'm just going to go here. First of all, I need to activate the first configuration um, copy. Select the configuration you want to copy to, go paste. So that's my uh, new configuration. Let's uh, delete this remove batteries exploded view because really in SOLIDWORKS 2012 you couldn't have, oh, I have to go here. You couldn't have two exploded views in one configuration. And I'm just going to go here and just rename this back to what it was, remove batteries. Good. So this works in one configuration. Now I have to activate the other one and activate the second exploded view in order for this to work. Let's save one more time this assembly and see what we had bef uh, in SOLIDWORKS 2012. So as you can see, the size ballooned to 835. That's an increase of, I don't know, 70% or so from the original. Uh, so as, as you can see, SOLIDWORKS 2013 will save you a lot of space. And not only that, it will save you time um, and it will make your life so much easier by not having uh, multiple configurations if you don't need them. Thank you.